welcome to the Allegheny Journal's first live drone flight. This is October 19th, 2018, and the journal is joined by Jeremiah Walker, who's heading up this effort for the Clifton Ford Shrine Club this year, and Glenn Perry, who's headed it up in past years and has been doing a lot of work in the background, and if we had room, we'd have the entire Shrine Club. We just want to give you an idea of the scene in Clifton Forge as the festival begins. And Jeremiah, this was a big effort, wasn't it? When, when do you guys start working on this event, which everybody looks forward to every year? Jerry, we really start working on this event um, the day that everybody leaves. Um, <laughs> it, if a vendor is happy with their spot and would like to return for the following year, they can have that spot as long as they sign up by the time they leave Clifton Forge Sunday evening. So we really start Sunday before everybody leaves. Hey, that's really a great idea. So that helps you get a good base for the following year. It helps us get a good base. And we've been lucky over the years. We've had several returning vendors that like the show and like Clifton Forge and enjoy the people of the Allegheny Highlands. Well, Glenn, you've been a part of this effort. I believe this is the 48th annual Fall Foliage Festival. You've seen it grow and change and morph over the years. Do you have any thoughts on this year's festival, how it's different or how it's expanded? Well, Jeremiah's done a big job this year with us. Uh, we actually have sold all our spots. A couple of them are empty, waiting on for them to come in today. But uh, this, this is one of our best years, we think. The weather's cooperating. And, um, Earlier in the week, it was supposed to rain, as everyone would know. And then yeah. uh, Mother Nature decided to give us some assistance. Well, that or the weather forecasters uh, finally got it right. but. Uh, as we're, as we're painting the view, the folks can look over to your left and you can see the Keswick Street parking lot um, where, where, we, where we have a lot of vendors. And then you're looking down through Main Street here and you can see, uh, or actually it's called Ridgeway Street, and see all the vendors sit up going down um, uh, the, the westbound lane of uh, Ridgeway Street. Um, See what else we'll we can do. We are paying around. As, as you're looking to your right, I'm going to throw this plug in. Down there is where the Shriners Diner is, it, uh, right there, at where we're at every year. And we have our roast beef and our country ham and, of course, the famous uh, Shriner Diner donuts. So, um, you guys, when, when do they get up? I mean, they have to start and get up at 4 or 5 in the morning they, to they, get this they, going, they, don't they? Mickey Boyer and the guys are down here around. Uh, uh, Five o'clock, six o'clock. We have two donut machines now. Um, so yeah, they, and we got uh, twenty or twenty-five um, fifty-pound bags of donut mix this year. So. Wow! And Jeremiah, in, in addition to your efforts and the Shriners' efforts, what kind of cooperation does it take from the town of Clifton Forge and other individuals to pull this off? I mean, we're talking about hundreds of details. There are literally hundreds of details, Jerry, and first and foremost, we're grateful to the town of Clifton Forge, um, Public Works, Police Department, everybody on the ground to the, to the town manager's office. They're supportive, they're helpful, they really spend a lot of time, and uh, the town of Clifton Forge puts a lot of in-kind man hours that, um, that they really don't have to, but they do to support this event. Glenn, can you talk a little bit about the, the Shrine, uh, Shriners nationwide have as their goal the assistance of Shriners hospitals. Can you give the public a little idea the breadth of that support? Well, we, we, we take care of 22 hospitals throughout uh, uh, North America, including Canada and Mexico. And this is... Uh, um, our, our main mission, and that's why you see the Shriners working so hard um, so, so we can, besides our Shrine Club, support support the hospitals. And that's, children still can go there um, free of charge. We, we have started billing third-party insurances now just because it's it's a It's a huge of, cost. It's millions of dollars a day. Right. Um, but, but we support Greenville, South Carolina, which has one of the best spina bifida 
uh, orthopedic hospitals, and then our burn hospitals in Cincinnati. We also send kids to Philadelphia. Those are our three main hospitals. So, in, a, in effect, when people are coming and having a good time, they're having a hot dog, they're supporting the vendors, coming to the shrines of uh, restaurant or, or a food operation, in effect, the overall thing is they're helping support children nationwide. Well, they are. They're, what, what they're really doing, they're supporting this Clifton Ford Shrine Club by buying the donuts. That's our diner. That's our, that's our fundraiser for the Shrine Club, which allows us, in turn, to be able to support um, the hospitals, which is our mission. Guys, thanks very much for your time. I know you're right in the middle of, of the beginning of this event. You've got many demands on your time. This is the Journal TV's first effort here to do live drone coverage of the news event. And we thank all of you Facebook fans for joining us. We're going to be live on YouTube and Facebook simultaneously coming up. And we look forward to your continued support in the future. Thank you. Thanks again, guys. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry.